Hello, y'all. I am officially seven days. Oh, hi there. I am officially seven days post op, and to celebrate, I am in the happiest place in the world. I am at Target doing a quick little Target run with my little. Yes. pair of leggings and a rolled up Julia to look like a shirt because they match it's cute little like birdies and I'm loving it guess how much I weigh I weighed in this morning not expecting to lose any weight because of all the IV fluids uh, that pumped into me but I weighed in at 232 so yeah that's awesome because I weighed in day of surgery at 238.9 pounds so that's a pretty big loss for one week. Anyways, so I've had a pretty good week. I've had rough days where I can't. Oh, please, Navi dog! I have socks that match. Be so cute. I've had days where I literally cannot drink any protein. My my pouch, which I haven't named, has a very distinct personality and cold things are not on its list of likes. It hates cold things, it loves warm things. So yogurts and stuff, I have to leave them to warm up to room temperature before I can drink them or eat them. I'm here looking for some different yogurts that I could eat at room temperature. So I got myself some milk, and I got myself some yogurt, and then everybody else got themselves, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's mine. Right there, that little corner is my joy. Yes, honey, I'm waiting on you. Oh, and the kids got themselves marshmallow pop. How is that, Lucas? Do you like it? Is it delicious? See, right now, kind of like when they're shopping food, I kind of get the like, I kind of get like the feeling of like, I wish I could eat that, kind of, but at the same time, no. Got me where I'm getting. But it does make me a little bit hangry. So I've been getting hangry lately, which is really odd. Um, especially because I've been struggling to get fluids in because of my tummy. Very, very odd personality. All right, y'all, I'm back in the car. Um, that was just a quick shopping trip to get some groceries with the kiddos. Um, I ran out of yogurt, ran out of milk. I'm lactose intolerant, but I got skim milk because I haven't had it in like a year. So I'm not sure if I was lactose intolerant just because of the pregnancy with my son. So I got that. Cross my fingers, it doesn't make me feel sick. I got sugar-free hot cocoa because my pouch, yeah, Lucas, my pouch doesn't like doesn't like cold stuff. So hot cocoa it is. I'm gonna do protein hot cocoa when I get home um, with my peanut butter protein. So peanut butter hot chocolate. I mean, I don't, I'm Dominican. If, if I don't know if you guys do peanut butter and hot cocoa, but it's freaking delicious. Um, so that's what I plan on having tonight to get some protein in me. Mr. Pouch does not like cold things. Mr. Pouch likes broth like it's nobody's business. Thanks to the ladies over at Boston Market who were nice enough to serve me a bowl of soup of only broth because I was out with my family the other night. I was starving and Boston Market was right there and they had soup and you know, I'm not gonna eat much but broth is what I'm gonna eat and they were nice enough to just serve me broth. So that was so super nice of them and it was like the most delicious broth I've ever had in like the history of broths. Um, so yeah, broth is my go-to, yogurt, warm yogurt is my go-to, um, applesauce, my pouch hates applesauce, like I used to love applesauce, I would eat my son's applesauce, my, my pouch hates applesauce, I cannot, cannot stand applesauce right now, um, I can't stand, stand the taste, texture, I don't know what it is, it's just me and applesauce don't mix. Y'all remember how I used to love anything red and orange? Mm -mm. I can't stand anything red. Fruit punch, I can't take red popsicles. Nope, I can do orange still, but red, I can't, I hate the taste. Like literally, my fridge right now is full of red popsicles because they're the ones that I haven't been eating. Like, I hate them. And I'll eat popsicles, but I have to like, kind of like let them melt in my mouth, if that makes sense. Like I can't chew them like I used to because they'll, they'll go down too cold. Well, that makes sense, it makes sense to me. 
make some to Mr. Pouch. So yeah, we are going to be doing a little contest. Um, leave your comments down below and let me know who, which, you know, what you guys think I should name my pouch. That little lady and Lucas and me will be getting together and we will be picking a winner and you guys will be getting a little tiny special something from S. So um, this is gonna run for about a week. So till next week, Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah, which is when I do my weigh-ins on Tuesdays. That's when it's gonna run. I'm actually gonna start doing more like, um, I'm gonna show you guys my before pictures on my next video. I'm going to show you guys more of what I've been eating and it's gonna be a more in-depth video. I wanna do this video really quick and really short just to show you guys where I'm at. I really didn't expect to lose any weight, especially not as much as I've, I've lost at this point. Um, but you guys will be getting a lot more in-depth things, but definitely remember, comment down below. Let me know what you think Mr. Pouch should be named because he's tired of being called Pouch. And I think it's a heat. Don't know why, I honestly think it's a heat. You know how, how men get all blubbery, you know? After they after a breakup and they realize what they lost, that's what I feel like my 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 pouch feels like like it lost its other half, and now it's realizing that it can't go to the club all the time. Yeah, that's my Mr. Pouch right now. So let me know what you guys think he should be named. We're gonna pick a winner, and we'll let you guys know in our next video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. I will be having videos weekly from this point forth. And as always, mahalo and aloha. aloha.